kind of damn. Hey, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Do Hey. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's your girl, Rita. Welcome to See What Rita's Cooking. If it's your first time here, welcome. Me and my Rita's Eaters are so glad to have you here with us. So go ahead, my dudes and my booze. We're glad you joined us. Thank you. Okay. Now, this may make you never come again. <laughs> but I hope that you will look at the contents of this video and say, she crazy, but she cook something. She know how to put, throw some food together. That she know how to do. Okay, so this one today is going to be another. Ooh, uh, see there. I don't know why this keep doing this. I done tried everything. I have to get my brother over here on this. It keep going down like this, and I have it locked. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about that all day. Focus on me. Focus on me. Okay, so today we're going to do an easy video. Big D-O. And it is going to be, okay, you know salmon croquette. No, wait a minute. Salmon croquette. Can't pronounce the L because I get a whole bunch of comments. Salmon croquette, you know him. This is his ghetto sister, tuna croquette. All right? That's what we're making today. We're making tuna croquette because sometimes you don't have salmon. Sometimes you don't have it. So you, you, but you still want it. You still want something that's like that. You can definitely have something like that. Nobody can tell you you can't. So today, I'm going to be making tuna croquet. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, girl. So now, let's get on down here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I need you guys to be doing that for me. You're getting, you're getting better. And I appreciate your effort. The ones that's really making an effort. I, I love you for that. Thumbs up and talk to me in the comments. Look at the video before you start telling me what to do and ask me questions. Look at it first because, you know, uh, go down in the description box because I definitely try to make sure that y'all don't have no questions um, on how to do this thing. You know, I, I try. I try. But anyway, this ain't about me. This about this food. So let's get on down. Let's do it. Tuna. Okay. Now, if you're real, real bougie and you're real, real, you know, you know, you, 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 you buy some good stuff when you're at the store. It be real authentic and it be real, you know, uh, uh, expensive and stuff like that. You not me, but you know, you, 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 God bless you. Okay. This is just some regular old, regular smuggler, tuna fish, chunky, light in water. Okay. Start, start kissing them. That's what this is. This is probably about six cans, I would say. So whatever I do, just half in it if you're not doing this much. But, you know, these don't make big, huge patties. So I want to make sure that everybody had a good amount of patty, you know, if they want to get two or whatever. So this is about six cans, so I would say. So what we're going to be putting in here, I'm going to put about, am I, mm, mm, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to put about six stalks of green onion in here, okay? I'm doing the green and the white as well, okay? Doing a whole little thing. Remember, this is six cans, okay? So about a, about a stalk per can, right? To this, I'm going to add three eggs. Okay, my oven done. Three eggs, alrighty. You have to have something to bind this, just like you would if you were doing salmon croquette, okay? Croquette or croquet, okay? <laughs> Either or. <laughs> Either or. All right, depends on where you was raised at. Okay, now you're going to need a little bit of lemon juice. I would say about a tablespoon uh, or so. Try to catch your seeds if and you can. Yeah, I caught most of them. See that? But I see one in there. Trying to be all sneaky. I see you. <laughs> we see each other. Get out of my butt. All right. Now you're going to use some Dij Dijon mustard. But because I'm a rebel... 
and I like to read this Thai stuff. I'm gonna use this jalapeno, jalapeno, jalapeno mustard. You need nothing about, I would say about two tablespoons. I'm gonna put it in the description box as best I can because I'm making it up as I go. Okay, then I'm gonna put me some lemon pepper seasoning in here. Good two tablespoons is a good uh, eyeball, is a good amount to have in your mind. Two tablespoons of dill, okay? Remember, I'm doing six cans. Then we're gonna do about a fourth of a cup of uh, plain breadcrumbs. Still going into that binding situation, all right? Some black pepper, and I'm going to put me some Two tablespoons, y'all, on all the seasoning. And a fourth of a cup of uh, breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna use me some, some uh, kosher salt. All right, don't look at my feet, cause you know these grocery folks have when they see me with my feet out when I'm in my house, in my kitchen, okay? It's a little bit. All right, now this is safe, you guys, to taste. So, you mix this sucker up. You want this to be stiff. Make sure you drain it, you guys. Get it as dry as you can, especially if your tuna is in water. If you want to use a tuna that's in uh, oil, that's fine too, okay? But I use the one that's in water, and then I drain that sucker, and I push it through, and I get it as dry as I can. The reason why I make so much is because there are five people in here. I want everybody to get a decent size uh, croquet, croquette, croquet, croquette, and um, you know, so that's why I have this much. <clears throat> and this is just a light meal. I'm going to be making this with some sweet potato wedges, you guys, and I am also going to uh, put that video on uh the channel as well so you will be getting that as well now I'm just gonna give this a taste because you have to taste it because this is it and you know so you want to taste it at least <laughs> you don't want to serve your food to people and then that's the first time it get tasted you need to taste that stuff make sure it's right before you go out time I look what I cook Mm. Mm hmm. I say, yeah, that's good. I can taste all of that. The onions, the the uh, dill. Ooh, that's really good. Okay. Yeah, it's just like a salmon croquette. Okay. Now this is what I'm gonna do. You know, I put that plain uh, bread comes on the inside of here. Now let me mess with your mind for a minute. Now I got some seasoned Italian, Italian style um, breadcrumbs. That's what I'm going to use to make my little patties, okay? I'm going to turn on my skillet, let it get to getting hot, okay? You want to trip on me? I'm going to put some olive oil in the uh, bottom, just enough to go across the bottom. These things are literally going to take minutes to cook, you guys. They don't take long to cook at all. Give me some um, gloves. And we're going to make us some patties. Now I'm going to make my patties, and then I'm going to set them to the side for just a little bit, about 10 minutes, and let them mold up. Sometimes it may be good as well to put you some and put the little patties in the uh, freezer, okay? Because you wanna give them time so they're not falling all apart when you uh, put them in the pan. Do that make sense? I know it do because I know y'all smart. Y'all got plenty of sense. Y'all got plenty of sense. Some of y'all are smarter than us all. You're smarter than a fifth grader, a sixth grader, seven and eighth grader. You know, you just know. Earth thing. <laughs> you know everything. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm trying to make sure that I like the stiffness of this. Okay, seems to be, yeah, it seems to be staying. And that's what you want. And that's why I'm just going to grab me up a good handful, same amount each time if I can. Okay, I'm going to mold these up. I'm going to let them sit up for a few minutes, and then we're going to fry them, okay? Give me a few seconds. Okay, you guys, I am back. I have me some EVOO right here in this skin and some extra virgin olive oil. I let my, ooh, my tuna cakes sit in the oven for about five minutes, you guys, just so they wouldn't fall apart on me. I'm going to make sure that this oil is hot enough. I have it on medium high for me. That's between six and seven on my stove. I'm going to check them right quick and see if the, see if the oil is hot enough. See if it's hot enough. Okay, it's making a little dog down noise. So maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, let me make sure I got y'all turned to this. Okay, so let me turn on some more light back here just in case. Just in case, just in case. I might turn it down just a little bit. I don't want, I want it to be very pretty and very golden, okay? So I'm gonna turn it down to six. And I'm gonna start putting my little cakes in here. There you go. Now this is not gonna take long at all, you guys. Probably about three minutes per side, okay? This is a quick little meal that you can, you know, just have on a weeknight. Now, I know you guys don't want to be in the kitchen long. Some of y'all are having to do uh, homework and virtual learning and things of that nature. So I want to make sure I'm giving you guys some quick recipes as well. All right. Not going to fool with them a lot. I'm going to just let it sit here and do its thing for three minutes. And when it's ready to be turned over, I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. I want y'all to sit here and watch it. Hold on. Okay, so this is how it looks, you guys. That was like two minutes, and it got that beautiful golden brown, okay? And that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fry all of them up, and then when I get through frying all of them up, I'm going to show you guys what we came up with. We're going to taste it, and we're going to be out of here. Okay, y'all, so look at these beautiful things right here. They are done. They are delicious, okay? And all I'm going to do right now, you guys, is I'm just going to pour me a little bit of melted butter on the top. This is optional. You don't have to do this. This could be your last step, and you can be done, okay? I'm just going to pour a little bit. I might just spoon it instead of pouring it. Then I can control it a little bit better. I want it to be just overdone. Just some on each one. Go up under that one. Go up under that one. Okay. Just make it pretty. Okay. I just want it to be pretty. This is nothing but about two tablespoons of melted butter. And I have about eight of my things. My croquettes and my tuna croquettes. I'm just going to drop some little fresh um, diced green onions down on here. Just to freshen it up a little bit, okay? Now, I made a sauce, and all I did with the sauce is I used uh, two parts of regular tartar sauce out of a jar, about um, two tablespoons of sriracha, and two tablespoons of dill. And this made a beautiful sauce to go on this, on these croquettes. So let me let, let me taste a little bit. And then I got to get out of here. I got to run to the store right quick, you guys. Something I hate to do. 
but I gotta do it. I'm just gonna cut one of these, you guys, just like this. So I'm not ready to eat, eat, eat. All right, so delicious. Look at the inside of that. Beautiful, okay? And I'm gonna put just a little bit of this sauce down on here. Not a lot, just give me a little drizzle. Okay, just like that. You're gonna give me a fork. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for coming together and having this time together. I appreciate every subby that views my um, videos and give me the time in their lives and in their day. I thank, I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful that you have kept us all safe. And we are grateful, God. We thank you for that. And thank you for this food, God. If anybody tries this food, let it be a hit in their home. And God, I just ask that if you got any time on your hands, let it be good on our lips and not so bad on our hips. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this is tuna croquet, y'all. Let's see what we think. You hear that little, hear that? Yeah, it's got a little crust on the outside. Real tender on the inside. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all are going to like this. Y'all are going to like this. Really fresh, really good. Really light, a light meal. Like I said, I'm going to be pairing this with my sweet potato wedges. Mmm, can't wait. Okay. That's awesome for me today, y'all. I'm trying to put them out quick and give you some good content that you can do quick with these times we're in. I don't want you to have to go and get a whole bunch of stuff that you can't find. I'm trying to keep it simple. Some of them are going to have to, you're going to have to do a little work, but for the most part, it's easy, breezy, eat with me. You know, that's what I like. So this was tuna croquette, tuna croquette. Tuna, croquette, whatever you want to call it. This is that, okay? I hope you'll try it. And don't forget, did I knock y'all down some? I told you, something is wrong with my stand. Don't forget that I'm going to also have a video on here for some sweet potato wedges. These two together would be bum. Um, and that's all I got for you guys. I'm not going to keep you long. I'm not going to keep you unnecessarily. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next time when we see what Reed is cooking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, your food is not on the way live until it's been read -itized. I know you know it. Can you see that heart? Not like that. I can't turn around. <laughs> I love y'all. I love y'all. Bye. Mwah.